Hey everyone, I uh, just wanted to make a little video here of the uh, workbench me and a good friend of mine did um, this Saturday. Um, this is it. Been needing a workbench for so long already to so do my uh, teardowns. This is uh, 10 feet by 36 inches high and 2 feet wide. So now I'm able to put my stuff on the bottom this is just for now I still the, the way the top is arranged I still have to get um, uh, a, a heat station um, a hot air station with the with the soldering iron um, I have a power supply already it's gonna go up there but yeah this is just the way I have it for now this is the way my other side was before it's still the same so yeah, we put it in a floor, changes that we've done, and um, the side um, side molding on the bottom, baseboard, base molding. But uh, yeah, at Home Depot, I wasn't sure what to, uh, I got this really nice soft one. I didn't get just regular plywood. I went and got the more soft wood grain top yeah I just wanted it like that so I just had computers all over the place and really needed this this side over here to put computers and then later this side over here in the bottom is gonna be um, all my totes and stuff to organize drawers and cables and yeah it's it's gonna change again but um, this is the setup for now Give a little fur bat far back here Of my collection the only ones I have for sale right now are gonna be these this monitor yeah so um, the only ones I'm gonna, I have for sale right now I'm, I'm just need to get a key uh, HP keyboard and mouse so it can go with this HP right here because this is an HP monitor so that's the stuff I paid uh, 30 bucks for. I got these two computers, this monitor, this um, AM64 AMD Athlon. Uh, really, really nice case. It's like a brushed, brushed uh, aluminum case. And then it's got this carbon fiber plastic right here on top. Really solid case, heavy. And then this one's another case I have. Um, XPS, my Power PC, my Mac Pro, my G G4, and my Mac Pro. Uh, this one I bought for twenty dollars. Also, I just last night I did some wire management on it, tying up some stuff, pulled the heat sink, re thermal paste, took out the fans, cleaned it. So, yeah. Not too sure what I'm gonna do with this one. I had a um, TrueNAS running on it, uh, booting off a USB. So I got stuff on here, um, but I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do with it. Also, there's my Xbox. When I got turn this stick around. Let's see, watch. On my camera, let me switch this. Uh, do I have anything? There it goes. Then I use the uh, Plex app that I have on here, and um, I'm running also running a uh, Plex server. Just excuse my mess over here, and this is my closet, this is my Plex server. So it's a Xeon X3430. I got all the hard drives are full. Oh, and it's maybe like a couple of three terabytes in here or something. It's 500 gig, uh, 
One's a two terabyte. No, I got I got to revalue it. Let's see. That's what I got in here. So this one has all my movies, pretty much. This one is I'm starting on this one, and then I got stuff that I'm saving that uh, non-accessible on this drive. So this I'm running uh, Windows 10 server. This has uh, Plex Media Server. <laughs> so a little table I made inside the closet just to hold this. That's it. I still got stuff on the floor. Some up there. This is the one I made a. Um, this power supply is a regular ATX power supply, but guys, uh, I forgot which video it is on YouTube that I used. Um, shouts out to him as soon as I find that video again. Um, and made the, um, converted the power plug, and it works in this. This is proprietary. I'm going to buy the adapter, maybe like 20, 25, 30 bucks, but I just wanted to make sure it worked, and I had that one lying around, so I went ahead and did that, and it's my, uh, iBook. It's got a 256 gig M SATA. So I put it's working fine. So yeah, that is basically it. I spent about maybe um, 300 on the material, 100 on two by fours. And, um, the base baseboards were 30 bucks for the three strips and I still didn't finish I still got to do this last corner out here by the door but other than that that is the um, the workbench I'm really happy now I can work and tear things down and thank you for watching comment rate subscribe have a great day.